Hello. I wanted to show off something I've been working on for fun called How Many Bug Bears. Uh, and it's a tool that's meant to simulate uh, com Dungeons and Dragons combat between a character and an endless revolving door of bugbears. And it, so basically what it does is it simulates the combat and counts how many bugbears can your character kill before they die. Um, and the reason I'm doing, I wanted to do this is I was working on creating a character who is a barbarian rogue and uh, I wasn't, I was kind of looking at different options, like, uh, does it make sense to take more barbarian levels or rogue levels, and I was realized, and I was kind of thinking about it, but I was realizing I, I wasn't really sure, I, unfortunately I can't play right now, as many of you may be experiencing, and so uh, I wasn't sure how to figure out, like, did I like one better than the other? Um, obviously this is just for fun, um, but, uh, yeah, but I, so, so anyway, I wanted to kind of talk this through and show off the tool. So first I want to show like why I built this was because I was creating this barbarian rogue character and uh, I was, which I think is, I, I like to build, like think about character optimization and think about fun builds. So let me just kind of talk you through what this build would look like. Um, so I, I was thinking about barbarian rogue because I like, bar I like playing martial characters, but I feel like sometimes they end up getting, being a little lackluster, especially when they uh, go up in levels. Um, so my, th and, and I'm, I'm thinking this is kind of a trick here, which is that, uh, at a face value, they don't feel very synergistic, but, um, I actually think that, ra uh, combining rage rec and reckless attack, um, with sneak attack is kind of a fun combo. And I think it works because sneak attack just requires a finesse weapon. Uh, rage requires you to use st strength based attacks, but you can totally use strength based attacks with finesse weapons like short swords. Um, so my thought is a dual wheel, dual short sword wielding barbarian rogue. Um, and just to show off like what I was thinking this build would look like from an attributes perspective, it's probably something like this. This is a, I'm, I'm doing a variant human, uh, for the real build, I would probably do, I, I was thinking the mobility feat would be super fun where you could run in, make attacks and then back up, um, with, uh, you know, bar, like bar, mobility, giving you extra speed barbarian at level five, giving you extra speed. Uh, you could do like Rogue Scout to get even more speed, so you could be this super fast kind of skirmishing, uh, hit and run style character. Um, and uh, oh yeah, but for the purposes of this video, um, I I use the, the dual wielder feed instead since mobile since the simulator mobility isn't really relevant, and I wanted to just kind of see. So so my questions I was asking myself are: How does this build compare to like a regular great axe wielding barbarian? And how do different barbarian rogue level combinations compare? So let's test it. All right, so now I'm gonna jump over and show the site. So here, this is uh, the, the website. So right now I had to hard code in all these characters. So you can't build a character on here. Um, I just made these. So just kind of kind of do a baseline. I wanted to do like a most vanilla, like champion fighter, uh, just to show how many, so I'm, I'm just gonna simulate a thousand fights, how many how many bugbears can this fighter kill on average? So on average, uh, uh, the six level dwarf fighter can kill 13 bugbears, and the way the way this is working, I'm gonna show, I created a log because I realized I didn't trust it until I could see the combat play off. So the way it works is a bugbear pops up, you roll initiative, and then you just do like Flintstone boxing, just punch each other until someone dies. Um, so. Um, here it is, like, you know, in this, in this combat, the bugbear wins, wins initiative, hits for 14 damage, the dwarf fighter uh, uses second wind to heal up, uh, swings back with the warhammer, etc., and they go until the bugbear dies, and then immediately another bugbear pops up, they roll initiative, and they fight again. So you just be, basically keep doing that, d d doing that, doing that, until, um, the, the fight, until the hero dies, and then you count how many bugbears they kill before they die. So I just saved 10 sample combats, even though I'm simulating 1,000, just to... Um, just so I could like review through, and I did this just so that I could say like, okay, is action surge working right? Um, is uh, second wind working right? You know, etc. So, so anyway, this is so it's just as kind of a baseline, a level six dwarf fighter can kill about thirteen bugbears. And if I run the simulation a few times, you'll see this number fluctuates a little bit, um, but you know, it gives you a pretty consistent number. And it's not surprising that it fluctuates that that much because you can see the number that they would kill like ranges in this example of ten from six to fourteen. Um, so obviously, it depends a lot on what you roll. If you roll really well, uh, so here's an example: the bugbear crits on the first attack uh, and does twenty five damage. So our poor dwarf fighter is, uh, you know, not going to, that starts off on the wrong foot on that one. 
So now uh, let's let's dig into some of these builds and see how they perform. Um, so first I created what I consider like the classic half-orc barbarian great axe wielder, which is a half-orc. Uh, half, and, and I think this is a good build to comp compete against because this build is really good. I actually did some testing like at first level characters and a half orc, first level half orc barbarian crushes a first level fighter because uh, relentless endurance is really great on fighting against bugbears. Uh, savage attacks is pretty good. Rage works really well because you're taking half damage um, and reckless attack uh, actually does help. Uh, you tend to win more fights if you use reckless attack. I tested that. So you can see here uh, the half orc barbarian performs quite a bit better than the dwarf fighter, um, and so you know I can just look at a log again. So a couple a couple things here. I'm I'm assuming like when the combat ends that the rage continues. So like it makes rage pretty good, um, and uh, yeah. And so just to kind of show here's this here's the sample combat like uh, use use reckless attack, use rage, hit with your great axe for twelve damage, then crit, and you know etc. So you can see here, like, that we're killing more more bugbears than the dwarf fighter did. Um, and I think it's, again, like, that rage is a great ability for fighting bugbears. Uh, relentless endurance uh, works really well, etc. So I just wanted to compare that to a, a great weapon master. So in this case, I'm just using the great weapon master ability to always take the minus 5 to hit plus 10 damage. Um, it turns out that does not help with killing bugbears. And I think it's because of the math. Like, d12 plus 13 against a, someone who has a hit points of... 27 means that you would need to roll, uh, like, oh, actually, it's d12 plus 15 because of rage, um, but anyway, you need to roll, like, an, I think it's 11 or 12 or something to kill in one hit, or maybe even a 12, so basically, it just, the math doesn't work very well using Great Weapon Master, uh, to try to kill bugbears, um, so anyway, that, that just was wanted to, to, to give a good comparison, I tried creating two different, uh, half orc barbarians, one who took Great Weapon Master at level 4 and one who took a strength increase. Um, so now let's see how that compares to these three builds of Barbarian Rogue. So the first one, this is kind of what I assumed would be the best build. Um, Barbarian level 5, Rogue level 1. Um, so what we see here is the performance is really similar to the Barbarian level 6 with a great um, with a great axe. And I guess, is that surprising? Uh, maybe not so surprising. I mean, I guess what it means is that you're gaining this offhand attack. Uh, you're gaining a sneak attack of d6. Um... I'm using Reckless Attack, so I'm always having advantage, so I can always use Sneak Attack. Um, and so I think what we see here is that the performance is, of this character is like almost identical to the um, to the Great Axe wielding uh, half work. Um, so just to kind of show, here's an example. Hits, you know, miss with a short sword, hit with a short sword. I don't make an offhand attack because I'm using my rage here. Um, you know, so, so anyways. Uh, so, so the last thing I wanted to show just... Obviously, it makes it's it's intuitive to me that this this build performs a lot worse because you're not you're delaying your second attack, um, your extra attack at fifth level barbarian. So um, it, it's not surprising that a barbarian three rogue three is like not very optimized compared to a barbarian five rogue one. Um, but here's the here's the big surprise for me comparing a barbarian five rogue one to a barbarian one rogue five. Um, the barbarian one rogue five actually performs the best. Um, I think this is partly because of the, se the the setup here, where you're fighting one bugbear at a time. Uh, I think the, the MVP here is Uncanny Dodge. So, Rage, obviously, you know, if you combine Rage with Uncanny Dodge, you're taking a fourth of the damage, uh, you know, with rounding down. So, it's basically just really, really good. Um, and so, you know, obviously, the, the, the downside here, the big downside here is you're losing extra attack, but your sneak attack is more potent. You're getting 3d6 on that. Um, and then with Uncanny Dodge, you're taking a lot less damage. So this build actually performs even better um, than some of the others where uh, you're using um, two short swords. So anyway, I, just, I, that's, I thought this was fun. Um, I thought it just was kind of an interesting exercise to see, to put some kind of number on how these builds perform. Um, and uh, I guess the end conclusion was uh, Barbar Barbarian 6 and Barbarian 5 Rogue 1 with short swords are very similar. Um, but Barbarian One Rogue Five is, in my mind, kind of a sleeper build. Um, I guess if if you if you if you use uh, if you have this realization that Rage works with Sneak Attack, um, then I think I guess maybe it's not so surprising. Oh, I guess one assumption that I made here that I didn't mention um, is that in order to get your Sneak Attack off in this one-on-one -on -one combat, you would have to take like Swashbuckler to be, enable uh, your Sneak Attack to work. So I made that assumption here that you were taking Swashbuckler at level three Rogue. Um, other, you know, obviously it worked in a party as well. 
Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share this uh, tool, and I think it could be really fun. Like, you could go farther with this and do things like showing how many bugbears you could kill at each level, um, or build your own character and count the number of bugbears. So anyway, if, if this uh, is exciting to me, please throw some comments on the video of things that you would think would be exciting to do with a tool like this. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of thought of uh, looking at how